Hello and welcome. Um, this lecture will explain the basic of the package that we're using, um, Torch, which is a neural network a package that uh, was uh, created by um, Ronan Colobert, Clement Farabe, and more recently also by Korai Kovankoglu uh, from MIT and NEC Labs. And it's um, one of the best uh, neural network um, tool um, available for machine learning and also for this bio-inspired uh, vision system research um, that we're going to talk about in this class. So it's a very interesting tool and um, very useful tool. One of the main features that this tool has is that it's a scripting language kind of tool, so it's kind of similar to MATLAB but it's very, very fast. Um, it's based on the language Lua, <coughs> and Lua was uh, developed uh, as a very, very compact language that can sit above, above, it's written in pure C and can sit above and basically in any uh, uh, small system, so even embedded system, cell phones, and embeddable board. Uh, so Lua is very nice because of these features. Uh, Torch was built on top of that because um, it allows, Lua is, is quite fast and it allows to um, interface very, very fast with um, um, with C languages so you can use, uh, basically use any other code uh, that was written in C as well and you can use it uh, in, uh, within um, uh, Torch. So I'm gonna start um, showing you a couple of uh, a small tutorial basically of getting started with Torch. Um, and this is also based uh, from a tutorial that was put together by Clement Farabe uh, just last year. So first of all, let me um, basically tell you uh, a few examples about of Torch as we go through it. So you can start Torch by just uh, uh, writing Torch on your script, on your shells. So, uh, for example, you might want to um, instantiate a variable called a equal 10. Um, you can say equal and a to print again. Uh, the variable, or you can say print uh, a, and um, the value will be printed again. Um, we can also um, print a string, for example, print something and then um, that will print a string as, as uh, of course other packages uh, from torch uh, are not loaded at real time so they can uh, be loaded uh, with the command require so for example we could require the nn which is a neural network package from torch a uh, very useful package we can also uh, require image image package um, that is uh, that is quite important quite interesting uh, package um, we can uh, for example using the image package we can load uh, a sample image so we call the package by repeating its name image dot and then by pressing tab here I can have a list basically of all the image uh, functions available um, and then I can say Lena open a parenthesis if I tap again I don't really get an help here right now so I can say image Lena and uh, that will basically load up um, the Lena uh, cast, you know standard image for image processing um, I can also use the image dot display uh, routine um, with argument Lena and that will show me basically image of Lena 
here that I uh, loaded up. Um, I can also close it. Um, other things that I can do, for example, is I can generate uh, a simple neural network layer that we're going to talk about. So with the NN package, I'm going to call it uh, it's the special con convolution layer. Um, I want one input, 16 outputs, uh, 12, uh, uh, 12 of size. Made a mistake, of course. Evolution. So there I create the first layer. Um, and I can display all the weights of this, uh, uh, of this layer, um, this the 12 by 12 layers. Um, by using again the image dot display, um, but this time I'm going to use the curly brackets, and I will say that image is n dot weight, uh, and then I will use the padding of padding of uh, two, and a, and a zoom of four, just to make it a little bit easier to display all these things. And then if I show this. You, you can see basically the display, uh, some of the uh, variables uh, that are included in this uh, uh, network layer. Um, and these are randomly initialized uh, with initialization that we'll, we'll talk about later. Um, I can also say equal n, and it will basically tell me, uh, print me this, this special module. This is a module of the convolution. Uh, special convolution, there's a input plane is equal to 1 um, and then what I'm gonna do is I basically um, um, st step of the step on, uh, on H and uh, step on the horizontal axis and the vertical axis are of 12 there are 16, uh, um, 16 number of output planes as I wanted and so forth, and you, you you get different kind of values here. You can see um, as it as it um, one, one example of a neural network layer. So now that I have this uh, neural network layer, what I can do is I can uh, forward uh, the image through this uh, this network layer. So so I can take the image Lena that I had, but instead of sending the whole RGB, I can say RGB because I, I said that the network will have only one um, um, number of input plane is one. So I need to select basically um, just one plane. So I do RGB to Y, so I, I basically get the intensity of uh, the image I that was Lena, um, and I forward it. Um, and what happens is that now if I return n, there's going to be an output here, uh, which is the output that was just generated. And what I can do is I can uh, basically um, present the whole image with image display, avoiding errors curly bracket image equal and dot output and errors um, padding equal to uh, zoom now I want 0.5 just because I don't want the images to be too too large I can also have a legend equal uh, layer one for example and then that's basically what I get. So I get all the 16 output combined by uh, the filters that we showed before. So um, the, sh the filters that we showed before are still here. So we can have basically both <coughs> the filters and the output as well uh, of this uh, convolution. Um, in order to get help from uh, um, uh, torch, you can invoke the command browse that basically uh, will bring up um, the doc documentation um, 
the docu yeah we'll bring up the documentation uh, this is still a work in progress but you can see um, this is documentation that came with the installation of Lu Lu uh, torch that you have um, there's also a version online on the torch website um, so here you can see uh, many different ways um, actually there are tutor uh, tutorials already here um, there's installation instruction there's a tutorial on how to work out and the Lua basics and so forth um, there's also why Lua it's a powerful fast language so one can read all this information um, there's all Torch packages that have been are uh, standard with Torch um, there's also utilities and also other, other extensions and other things that you can find uh, so this browse command it will be very very useful because it will allow you to uh, basically find out everything that uh, is available for a spe specific uh, function you can also use the uh, help for example torch dot random function um, and it should bring up the help um, of a specific function or help uh, and then dot uh, apps um, one of the absolute value module in neural network and you can also um, do that you can get information about all those these things 